everybody today i'm going to be creating this double barrel knot pendant with a dangling bead that you see here so if you'd like to see how i make it keep watching so for this project i'll be using 16 gauge wire steel block and hammer something round i'm going to be using a wooden dowel stepped pliers wire cutters flash cutters and uh, probably some needle nose pliers and tape measure of course also some 20 gauge wire just for the jump rings i'm gonna start with nine inches of wire Then I'm going to take my step pliers and use the second step here, come about an inch up the wire and bend the long end around. Like that. Then I twist the wire around and come to the longer end and use the same step to shape that wire along and around like a figure eight. Next, I'll take my wooden mandrel and I'm going to use the largest end and take that wire, the longer end, and place it directly below that loop there. And hold it and bring that wire around. Next, I'm going to hold that wire that I just brought around, bring it toward the back, and hold right here at the intersection of the loops, and take this wire, come to the front, downward a bit, and wrap it around that loop on the bottom and then just continue wrapping toward the top. Each wrap, I'm loosening the wire. I'm not making it tight. Now, before I get to the end of this wire, I'm going to go ahead and snip this little piece here in the back. Now I'll just continue wrapping that wire up. And finish in the back of the piece. This is what we should have here. Next, I'm gonna take about uh, five inches of 20 gauge wire. Go ahead and trim a piece of that. Ideally for this design that I'm making, I would like to use a um, a head pin 
with a, a rounded head or a flat head, but I don't have that in copper wire, bare copper wire. I just have uh, stainless steel ones. So I'm gonna create my own head pin. And this end here, I'm gonna use a hammer to flatten out the head, the end of it here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hammer the tip right here. So I'm not going to use the rubber mallet. At this point, I'm going to use the ball peen hammer and just hammer out that little small tip there. Turn the other side, hammer that side as well. it. I'm going to be using this 12 millimeter gold stone bead. I'm going to go ahead and take that wire that I just cut and place it inside the bead. Okay, I've gone ahead and flattened the tip. Now I take my chain nose pliers and just bend that wire, the flat end, and on itself and press press it closed like that that way my bead won't slip off now I take my round nose pliers and come to the top of the bead here and make a sharp 90 degree angle there, like that. Take it off, come back around, and just bend that wire back around like that. And make another 90 degree angle the opposite way. All right. Then, I'll take my chain nose pliers and hold right there at that cross section and just bend that wire around one, two, three, and each wrap is increasingly getting wider as you can see I can start wrapping it with my hand now Then I'm going to make sure I have enough wire to wrap around here one time and finish on the tip. So I think that's enough wraps for now. Let's go ahead and wrap the rest around the bead. Finish up on the tip. Just trim that piece off there. All right, there we go. Just finish that piece off by making a small jump ring to connect the bead to the pendant. Take that 
jump ring and just place it inside and place it on the pendant here and close. And I'll just take the next jump ring and go ahead and place that at the top of the pendant here for your rope. So there we have it. We're all set. So thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye for now.